Welcome to College Smart Radio, helping you understand the true cost of college and tackle the runaway costs of financing a college education. College Smart Radio is hosted by Mark Guthrie and Beatrice Schultz, founders of Westface College Planning. Now, your hosts for College Smart Radio, Mark Guthrie and Beatrice Schultz. By the time kids reach high school, half of parents are unable to help parents with their homework, particularly math and science. Parents often turn to tutors, but they tend to charge phenomenally high fees and aren't always available. Our guest on today's College Smart Radio program is Mandy Ginsberg, the CEO of Tutor.com. She's here to talk about trends in tutoring and about how Tutor.com works to provide one-on-one online tutoring for students on demand. Hi, I'm Beatrice Schultz. I'm here in the studio with my co-host, husband and partner, Mark Guthrie. Welcome to our weekly show, College Smart Radio, where we help you tackle the runaway costs of a college education. Our show is about bringing up-to-date and practical advice to parents who are dealing with the cost of a college education for their kids. With some private schools costing well over $60,000 a year, a UC costing $35,000, and a California State University running $25,000, parents need more help than ever. We bring you that help by sharing ways to pay less, tapping into financial aid, and prioritizing your source of funds to make sure you get through the most expensive years of your life. Based on our experience and education, we share our insights with you week in and week out. Mark and I are the owners of the San Carlos-based college financial planning business, Westface College Planning, and we're also the owners and investment advisor representatives of Westface Financial Advisory, a registered investment advisory firm. We host workshops and webinars on college and retirement financial planning and consult with parents on a daily basis. In addition to our insights, we bring in experts in many areas of the college process, from counselors, financial aid professionals, student coaches, parents, and even students. You'll learn firsthand the ins and outs of how to pay for college and survive financially. In addition to our show, you can find lots of powerful information on our website, collegesmartradio.com. We have many articles with up-to-date information on navigating the waters of paying for the runaway costs of college. We also have a monthly e-newsletter full of content about college planning. And we have a link to our free community parent workshops and webinars that we host to teach parents about how to pay for college and how the financial aid system really works. So let's get into today's show. My guest on today's show is Mandy Gingsbert. She's the CEO of Tutor.com, which helps 6,000 students a night by connecting them to a great tutor online. She's also a proud mom of two daughters. Her 15-year-old uses Tutor.com for Algebra 2 and Chemistry. Tutor.com provides one-on-one online tutoring for students on demand, whether they're stuck solving a math equation, editing an essay, or much more, and it's led by a team of educators and experts in the wide variety of subjects ready to alleviate your students' homework stress. Mandy, welcome to College Smart Radio. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And maybe we can start by you can explain a little bit about how you came to Tutor.com. Sure. I've been at um, Tutor.com for about a year, and it's funny. People ask me, um, what did you do before Tutor.com? And I actually was the CEO of Match.com for the last seven years prior. And so people say to me, you ran the biggest matchmaking business why tutor? And the part of it is that, one, I was very passionate about a brand and a business that changes people's lives. And two, there was something very interesting about this idea of of connecting people, whether it's fall in love for match.com and now at tutor.com, it's really focusing on how do we help kids who are stuck on a math problem, working on a college essay, and how do we connect them with the right tutor anywhere in the country at the right time? Well, it's really interesting, and what an interesting, uh, I guess, segue or a t- move along in your career from Match.com to Tutor.com, and that's it, it is about kind of one-on-one matching. I'm sure that is part of how you think about it. Let's start a little bit about tutoring in general. I some it seems to me that kids are some parents are still nervous, feeling like if their kids need a tutor, it seems that they're not that smart. I mean, what do you? What are the trends right now that's going on with tutoring for high school kids? Um, it's pretty remarkable. I think that a lot of parents think the first thing is that if, you know, back when I was in school, it was only the kids that were failing subjects that got tutors. Now it's completely different. I mean, the first thing is school is harder than it was before. Competition to get into college is much uh, more intense. And especially with Common Core, which is a common curriculum across the U.S. that a lot of states are adopting, things are getting much tougher. And so the idea about 
making sure that you give your kids an edge, making sure that they're able to keep up, especially with AP curriculum that are really tough. And so we see that um, about 30% of kids in uh, middle school and high school get tutors um, on a regular basis, and it's not because of failing. Often they're A students and trying to get ahead. So I think that stigma of tutors being there for kids for remedial reasons is changing fundamentally. That, that trend that you're seeing, so how long has Tutor.com been available to be able to offer some of that tutoring? There's many different ways that people can get tutoring. Um, what does Tutor.com, how are they comparing to what your traditional tutor is? Yeah, so when people think about tutoring, they think about having someone come into their home or meeting at a library and, and going one-on-one with um, a, a, um, their children um, and students. We do the same thing. It's just done online. And it's a very different notion. It's usually that kids are like, oh, yeah, no problem. I get that. It's usually the parents that have a hard time understanding does it work. Is there really a, a teacher on the other side of the, of the Internet? And so um, it works. We've been around for 10 years. For the most part of that 10 years, we focused on things like um, the um, military. So we actually tutor thousands and thousands of military kids each night. And one of the reasons that the military wanted to make sure that their kids had access is because military kids move around a lot. And the idea that they have continuity in teaching and education with these favorite tutors that they can jump online and connect with made a lot of sense for them. And I think, you know, the kids who use it love it. And they work with tutors all the time over a long period of years when they're going from multiple cities um, to multiple, you know, to many cities. Um, And so it's been around a very long time to deal with that particular need. And then over the past year, we've started to roll out um, tutor.com direct to consumers and to students. And so we've done 10 million sessions to date, which is a staggering number of sessions, but it's pretty simple. People just um, log on, tell us the problem they have, and then we will connect them to a person, a live human, um, because parents ask that all the time, you know, is it really a person at the other end? Yes, it is. And so they jump on, and there's a classroom, a a whiteboard, and they work through problems and um, are able to communicate through um, an instant messenger and and go back and forth on a particular problem they're having. It's It's a great tool, especially when it's 930 at night and you just can't figure out the answer. Sure. Hey, Mandy, this is Mark. So basically the experience is that the student will be there at their machine. They're obviously hooked up to the Internet. And so they will see a live interactive session with a whiteboard, as you described it, going back and forth where the tutor can see some drawings or, or the student could see drawings. And then the, the conversation happens real time. Are, is, are, are, is the ability to record these sessions as well so they could be referred to later? Yeah, so every single um, problem, we, we actually um, send the transcript to the student at the end, um, in some cases the parents too, if the parents have sort of asked for that. Um, so we, they actually, it, it's nice because the students get it to review it. Plus, we actually have a very rigorous quality assurance process where we look at every single transcript. And so for us, it's great because we can, we, we can make sure our, um, the, the uh, educators who are above all of our tutors are checking in to make sure that the tutors are never giving the answer because for us it's really we, we train our tutors never to get the answers but help the kids get to the answer. And so, you know, the, being able to capture the session and capture the back and forth is both useful to us to maintain quality and also useful to the students to go back and look at something they didn't understand. Sure, and it's great for the parents, too, because they know they can review later on what's going on. Maybe they can learn a thing or two themselves. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> yeah well, we do see it. it is a, you know, it's funny. We hear about these homework wars all the time and all this tension at night at home because the kids are struggling and the parents can't help, and it creates this um, dynamic where, you know, as I asked one kid, did your mom ever help? She says, my mom still used the abacus. <laughs> I know that she was kidding, but I think there's some truth to that. Um, I mean, I, I don't remember science. I haven't studied science since I was in high school. And a lot of parents, that's the same thing, especially if you're, I mean, if you're an attorney, you might not have had statistics or you might have studied math for 20 years. And so I think that a lot of parents struggle with um, some subjects because they just haven't been, um, you know, they haven't learned it for 10, 15, 20 years. Well, yeah, I think we see that with the uh, TV show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And uh, I think nine out of 10 parents are not smarter than a fifth grader, so not much help <laughs> on that. So um, let, let me just ask this. So, so you obviously must have some peak periods towards the end of semesters, towards the end of quarters, where kids are struggling to get caught up so they can pass their finals. You know, what kind of an inventory of tutors do you have that's available to deal with big demand of, of late, late in-season queries from worried students? Yeah, well, it's actually pretty interesting because we have been servicing the military for so many years, we have to have 24-7 um, coverage. 
So you've got kids that are, you know, their parents are in army bases in Germany, and we got to make sure that when they hit the books at 7 o'clock at night that we have tutors that they can access, and all of our tutors are based in the U.S. And so we um, we are able, this is, I think, some of the secret sauce of this business is how do we deal with demand and supply? So we have to have for those 7,000, you know, six to 7,000 sessions a night, and it definitely grows up goes up during peak season. we got to make sure that we can handle the, um, the demand from kids. And so we generally see during um, exam period, um, we see huge peaks during summer break, during winter breaks. Uh, we do see the, um, you know, when kids aren't sunny, we see it drop dramatically. But, um, but it's just, it's remarkable because once do, school starts, it's just by October, November, um, the sessions, you know, the sort of tutoring sessions are going crazy. Yeah, it must be like a, managing FedEx packages at Christmas time. I'm sure that you've yeah, got a there is, there big is a scheduling challenge ahead. Yeah, there is a lot there is a lot to that. And we want to make sure that especially given we're committed to twenty four hours seven days a week, we gotta make sure that, you know, we've always have tutors available for our students because I mean they they are working, especially given you know, who our students are, they're working across the globe and we want to make sure that there's someone there for them all the time. Sure. So so I, I guess what you're saying is you feel pretty good about the way you've matched that up. So if 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 a because th- I mean you, you have to match up time, you have to match up demand, and you also of course have to match up subject topic, right? I mean That's having right. five people who are experts in English aren't going to help if you've got ten p- people interested in figuring out a calculus problem. So you've got right. to, and we have you know it's almost like being a doctor. Um, you, we have a, a system where we have to send out alerts. So if we have we see there's a shortage of chemistry teachers on a certain hour and we start seeing peak increase then we will make sure that we send out alerts to our chemistry teachers. And so there are times where we have to do that, but you know, our focus is making sure that kids don't wait more than a couple minutes. But, yeah, I mean, there are times where there's peak seasons where as good as we've, as much history we have, as much planning as we do, there's times that, you know, we, we need a little bit of extra help, and it's pretty remarkable our tutors are, are there to jump on and sort of on call, if you will. Sure. Sure. Hey, if you've just joined us, our guest on today's College Smart Radio program is Mandy Gingsbird, and she's the CEO of Tutor.com. We've been talking a little bit about Tutor.com and general information about tutoring. When we come back after the break, we're going to talk a little bit more about why Tutor.com and tutoring is actually a, why we think about it when we think about College Smart Radio and tackling the runaway cost of college, because part of that is the kids getting working harder, understanding the subject, so they get those better marks that are going to give them those choices when they go to college. So we'll be right back on College Smart Radio after a quick break. College Smart Radio with Mark Guthrie and Beatrice Schultz continues in moments on AM 1220 KDOW. For more information on today's topic, visit collegesmartradio.com or call area code 650-587-1559. Contact our hosts at collegesmartradio.com or call 650-587-1559. Now back to College Smart Radio with Mark Guthrie and Beatrice Schultz on AM 1220 KDOW. Welcome back to College Smart Radio, where we help you tackle the runaway costs of college. I'm Beatrice Schultz, and I'm here with my co-host, Mark Guthrie. We all know that college is expensive and will most likely be some of the most costly years for a family. Understanding how to navigate the college costs is a smart thing to know. To help families be on this radio show, we host community workshops live and via webinar several times a month that explain the cost of various colleges, how the financial aid system works, and things to consider to prepare yourself for this tremendous expense. To learn more and reserve your seat, go to my website, collegesmartradio.com. If you've just joined us, we've been talking with our guest, Mandy Ginsberg, the CEO of Tutor.com. And during the break, we were talking a little bit about the trends in tutoring. And I thought maybe, Mandy, we can go back to that and talk about uh, sort of the trends you see in tutoring and the impact on people, on the students' marks or their successes. Yeah, I mean, all, all day long, kids are in classes of 30, 40 to 1. And, I mean, it's important and they are learning a ton at school. But that one-on-one learning is, it's, it's pretty in- incredible how one-on-one learning can significantly actually impact positively scores. So there's been a lot of studies done in the last um, 10 to 15 years. There's a famous study by a professor named Bloom, and he talked about how people who are in um, just traditional classes and then people in traditional classes plus one-on-one learning will significantly increase their, um, their grades. 
And I think it's true that it's just if you have a teacher in front of a class, it's very different than teaching one to many versus if you've got two people working on a problem together and then you can have someone explain it to you the way that it makes sense for you. Um, and so we hear that all the time, that people that come to us say, you know, I just don't understand how my teacher explains it. Um, and that's the time where I think that you know, help from someone one-on-one actually can be very useful and not feel so frustrating. Sure. And I, I would guess most parents take the neighborhood approach to finding tutoring help, or they will ask a teacher maybe if they know somebody in the community, and then then you kind of get what you get, and, and you have a one-on-one, but you don't really know who the person is. So maybe you can kind of compare and contrast what most parents are, are doing on their own versus what can be offered through a very organized process at uh, Tutor.com. Yeah, I mean, so most of it is word of mouth. So parents will ask other parents, or they'll ask teachers, and 60% of people who find tutors are through teachers. When you go and ask a teacher and you've, or a school and there's a list of tutors, often, especially, um, you know, in, in more affluent areas, you're going to end up with at times $80, $100, $120 per hour. Um, so it's very costly. A lot of times people see there's a lot of student pressure that feels like, gosh, I have to get ahead just like so-and-so. And so um, so it becomes a very, very costly um, endeavor. And also um, SAT prep can be very, very expensive too, one-on-one or um, sort of in-person. And so one of the reasons that I think and one of the reasons I came to Tutor.com, I was so passionate about it about a year ago, is because it, it's we, I know that there's great high quality and I, our referral rates or satisfaction rates are really high and we actually – only accept about 10% of the teachers who come to our front door. Um, so quality is there, and we can manage quality really well because we get access to all the transcripts and how the sessions went. The second thing is affordability. It costs us about 40 bucks a month, um, and tutoring can be much more expensive. I mean, you're, you are at less than half the cost of tutoring um, online. And then it's, um, it's a great way. I'm a working mom, and there's a lot of working moms out there. Um, when I have to get my daughter to her tutor, and I've had to get my daughter to her tutor, the logistics around it just become a bit of a challenge, especially during the school day. And so this idea that she can just sort of pop on and connect instantaneously to an expert is, I think, very appealing to, to a lot of parents. And so it's, it's not just sort of the cost, but also the level of sort of effort, energy, and logistics associated with getting to tutoring as well. Sure, yeah, it goes much beyond just the, the, the hour window. It's if you're, if you're logistics and driving and picking up, it's, it's just that much more time in the car trying to shuttle, ki- shuttle kids around. So That's talk right. talk a little bit about just the, the the cost that parents would expect to to pay. I mean, is it uh, you know how does it work at tutor dot com just at a high level? So at a high level, it's um, so it's forty dollars a month, and that's for about um, an hour of tutoring. Um, and it you know if people use it by the minute, so they they're only paid on based on the minutes. And then there's often kids. Well, they'll just they'll need more help than just an hour a month, or they'll need a multiple subject, so they can always add on their time um, to get tutored. In general, um, the sort of national um, prices are anywhere from fifty to sixty dollars in small markets, all the way up to about one hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars for the higher end tutors. Um, so it can just be very costly. And at times, um, when people schedule tutors, they'll schedule um, a tutor once a week. Sometimes kids don't need it that often. And so, the, what we believe is that this gives you just a lot of flexibility in terms of what a kid is struggling with, or what he um, what he needs help on, or she needs help on. Well, uh, Mandy, let's talk a little bit about what's available for college prep that could be available through Tutor.com for some of our high school students, seniors, and juniors that are trying to make sure they get keep their marks up to apply to colleges. What kind of programs or what's available on Tutor.com for college prep? So we help across the board with um, all of ACT and SAT prep, but um, what we are seeing an increasingly number is um, is essay review. So where people will ask, either they'll submit or they'll ask teachers to, our teachers or our educators, to review college essays. Um, it is, you know, I, there was about 400 to 1 um, college count, kids to college counselors, which is not a lot. They don't have a, not a great ratio. And the college counselors at schools across the country just don't have a lot of bandwidth to give. And so we're seeing a, an increasing need and a lot more demand of people who are saying, I just need someone to review this one more time. Or I'd like someone to help me with a standout application. And so that's, um, that's really the trend that we've been seeing over the last year. Um, it increased, you know, month to month. Can you take me through that process? If I was a student, I have an essay, I'd like it to be reviewed, I sign up for your program. Is it an email back and forth, a discussion? Can you kind of do a sample case for that that there, high school student? There, there's two ways. I mean, we, what we've done is we actually do real-time review where you go on, you sub, you actually, we have a classroom, you can just submit your paper. And so the tutor is able to read it and give feedback 
um, saying, okay, this paragraph maybe is not so strong. Let's focus on what you want to accomplish. So there is that real feedback, which is just imagine someone sitting right next to you going through it and talking through it. We also um, now have introduced um, what we call asynchronous review, where you can submit a paper. Someone will redline it, and they'll send it back to you. And I think that each student's different. Uh, I mean, some kids will say, okay, take a look at it. Let me think about it. And other kids really want to brainstorm and talk through what's working and what's not. So we have both offerings available to students. And for the pricing structure of the $40 a month, which equates to 60 minutes, um, if it's a send it to review, is there a standard that you say it always takes 30 minutes for someone to review? I'm just trying to have make yeah, sure our listeners does, understand how right. that works. It, it, takes a, it takes a little bit less than 30 minutes to review. So, and, and we only will, um, you know, we'll only, only charge students the minutes they use. So that's about right. Um, and then there's some kids who, they, you know, they want to have a more in-depth session and they want to sit and have a discussion that might be an hour long about something as important as a college essay. And so we will adapt based on what the student is looking for. And the same, when you talk about SAT, ACT prep, would that be you'd expect the students were, were at home kind of doing practice SAT questions and they might put that question on the tutor tutor board? Is that an example of how that would be used? Yeah, that's a, it's a great example. Um, or, you know, SAT prep can be very expensive. I mean, it can be two to three thousand dollars to go to these um, SAT prep schools um, a lot of parents a lot of kids can't afford it so they they either use online tools to help them or they use books and when they can't get it they don't have anyone to turn to so the idea of jumping on and going through a particular concept or a problem with a tutor is is really um, a um, it's really advantageous for the students and you know it really cuts down on the price materially for the parents how about if I've got some college students listening in right now saying, wait a minute, I want to get access to this. Do you also offer uh, tutoring for higher education? We do. In fact, that we um, service about 10 to 15 percent of our business. We service maybe even a little bit more colleges. So we have discrete math, statistics, a lot of um, higher ed online schools use us because when the kids are using or their schools that have an online presence, because when the kids are online and they're stuck and they need help, their teachers or their um, their professors aren't always available. And so we actually service quite a bit of online schools, um, which is exciting because I think that there is a real need, especially sort of when you're in that moment and you can't figure something out. And, and I think that for the students, the schools that we actually work with, they love it because the students, you know, I, I, I you know, don't know, it's talked to a lot of parents, that sort of frustration of not understanding something, it can really take away a kid's confidence or a college student's confidence. And so the idea that you can sort of get to the answer quickly um, and real time, I, I do think has a, a big emotional impact as well on students. I think it's really, really valuable for our listeners, for high school students and for college students. Thank you, Mandy, so much for joining us on College Smart Radio today. Thank you. So a link to tutor.com will be available on our website, collegesmartradio.com, and you can learn some, and you'll be able to learn more about how you can sign up. And in fact, you can sign up and your first uh, session will be free in order to figure out how, uh, how the process works and to make sure it's a fit for you. Well, that wraps up another weekly show of College Smart Radio. We hope you picked up some new information today that helps you figure out ways to manage the runaway costs of college. You can hear us each week here on KDOW, 1220 a.m., Saturdays at 3 p.m. We promise to bring you up-to-date information from the front lines of helping parents deal with the most expensive years of their lives. For a link to a podcast of this show and our prior weekly shows, go to our website, collegesmartradio.com. In addition to the podcast, you'll also find a schedule of our upcoming shows. Make sure you print out or bring up on your tablet our glossary of college planning terms for reference during our future shows. And also you can click on our links to find links to um, websites that we've talked about during the show. Plan to join us at one of our upcoming West Face College Planning workshops or webinars, and you can do so from the show's website, collegesmartradio.com. This is Beatrice Schultz. And Mark Guthrie. Thanks for tuning in to College Smart Radio. We look forward to sharing more helpful information with you next week. You've been listening to College Smart Radio with Mark Guthrie and Beatrice Schultz. If you have questions on today's topic, log on to collegesmartradio.com or call area code 650-587-1559. That's 650-587-1559. 
and join us next week at this time for another edition of College Smart Radio on AM 1220 KDOW. Information presented during today's show is not to be construed as advice meeting the particular needs of any investor. All mention of performance is based on historical experience. It should not be assumed that past performance is any indication of future results. Tax center legal advice is not offered by Mark Guthrie or Beatrice Schultz. Please consult your tax professional for additional guidance regarding tax-related matters. Mark Guthrie and Beatrice Schultz are owners and investor advisor representatives of West Face Financial Advisory. College planning services offered through West Face College Planning. Insurance services offered through West Face Financial and Insurance Services. License number OF35251. Financial planning and investment advisory services offered through West Face Financial Advisory.